Hi, my name is Andrea Spear, and welcome to Pilates Stretch. Stretching is so important for the longevity and health of our bodies, so let's get right into it. Bring yourself down onto your mat. Just lower yourself down, have a seat, and lie all the way down on your back. Draw both knees in toward your chest. Take a hold of those shins and just give yourself a nice hug. Draw those legs in. Already this should feel so good on your lower back. And release. Go again. Gently hug those legs in. And release. One more time like this. Give yourself a nice hug. Now start to swim those legs. So open your knees out to the side. Circle them down and around. Keep going. So what we're doing here is stretching out the hip joints and massaging your spine. We're also just taking a moment to connect with our mat, slow our minds down and connect them with our bodies from our busy days, whatever's on your mind. Now reverse your circles, go down, circle around and up. And these circles are really just as big as you're comfortable with. Whatever feels good in your body today. Circle up. Let's do one more down, around, and up. Bring both hands onto the center of one shin. Lower the other leg down. Place your hands right behind that thigh. Flex your foot. Now stretch your leg up toward the ceiling and bend back in. And whether or not your leg gets straight doesn't matter at all. You're just working to whatever your flexibility level is today. And the reason we're doing this is because you get more flexible from this. So two more. And lower. Stretch up and hold. Curl your head and chest up. Look toward your abdominals. Point your toes. Now start to climb your hands up your leg as close as you can get to your ankle. Hold there. See if you can bend your elbows. Pull your leg and head closer together. Reach your leg back out and climb down your leg, lowering your body to the mat. Bend that knee in toward you for a spinal twist. Take the opposite hand up and over to the outside of your leg. Reach the other arm out wide to the side. Now press that leg over your body. Try to keep this knee right across in line. Don't let it sink down too low. Draw your shoulders down and just hold this stretch. I love waking up and doing this first thing in the morning. It's like my first cup of coffee. Just gets everything going, gets the blood circulating. Bring your knee back in toward your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Now place the bottom of your foot on top of your thigh. Let this knee fall out to the side, flexing this foot to lock your knee into place. Both hands go directly on your hip points to anchor those hips down into the mat. Then take the hand of the bent leg, slide that hand down your leg. So you're anchoring with the opposite hip, stretching that knee down. This is a great and gentle way to stretch out your hip flexors. So if you run, I really recommend this stretch. From there, start to draw that straight leg in toward you. Your hands loop in and around the back of that thigh. Hold here in a figure four stretch. So you're gently pulling your leg in, using your elbow to press that triangled knee out to the side. Now, keeping this foot flexed is really important in this exercise. For example, I have a torn meniscus in my knee from track, so locking that foot in locks my knee into place so nothing can move. So if you have a current or a past knee injury, really make sure this is flexed. Lower everything down, and we'll do the other side. Knee into your chest, hold on behind your thighs, flex your foot, stretch up, and bend in. Stretch up. And in, remember, you're working only to what your stretching comfortability is today. Up. Last time, reach up, hold. Curl your head and chest up. Point your toes. Start climbing up your leg. See if you can draw that leg in closer. Bend your elbows, really pull everything together. Reach it back out. Climb your hands down your leg. Lie flat. Bend that knee in for the spinal twist. Cross your leg over your body. Bring that opposite hand to the outside. This arm anchors your body and stretch everything out. So gently pushing with both hands. This should feel great on your lower back. I could stay here for a long time. 
and then bring your leg back up. Place the bottom of your foot directly on top of the straight leg thigh. Let that knee fall open. Flex that foot for safety. Both hands go on your hips. Then that bent leg hand slides down your leg. So you control how much you're stretching your hips here by how much you're pushing with this hand. Start to bend the straight leg, draw your leg in toward you. Hands loop in and around the back of your thigh, draw that leg in. So remember, this foot of the bent knee here is really flexed. Use your elbow to push that knee back as you pull your leg in. You should be feeling this all down your glutes, all down your backside. This is also a great one to do before and after a run. Uncross your legs, hold on behind your thighs, rock yourself up, come seated. Spin yourself around, come on your hands and knees for a cat-cow. We'll stretch out your spine and abdominals here. Knees directly under your hips. Dive your chest down, open your chest, look straight ahead. Drawing those shoulders down, feeling that stretch in your abs. Then push the mat away, round your back. So you're like a scared Halloween cat here. Then dive your chest down, stretch out your abdominals, stretch out your ribs. Press your hands down, round your back. This is another one I like to do in the mornings. Bring yourself back to a neutral spine, curl your toes under you, Press yourself up and back into a Pilates elephant. This is also called a downward facing dog in yoga. So pushing with your fingers, pressing down with your heels, lifting with your abdominals. Lift one heel, lower one heel and hold. So you're actively stretching down with the heel into the mat. Then switch up and reach down with that heel. So this is a great stretch to do to stretch out the calves and the Achilles. This could help with plantar fasciitis. This is a really important one to do if you do anything with impact, running, even wear heels. And switch one more time. Now let's pick up the pace there. So switch and switch, never jolting into the movement, keeping it fluid. One more set, one more time. Both heels lower down. For up stretch, curl your tailbone under you. Start to ripple your body down into a plank hold. Push with your fingers, lift with your abs, round your body. Back up, go again, tailbone under you. Deepen those abs, round down, hold. Bring that back up, curl up. So this is based on the exercise up stretch from the reformer, which is a piece of Pilates apparatus. One more time, tailbone under you. Shift your weight forward, deepen in, round your body. Back up, hold. Walk your hands back in toward you. Hold here, cross your elbows so you're holding onto each elbow and just let your head hang for a moment. Turn your head no, give it a nice shake. Nod it yes. Let your head rest center. Release your arms, bend your knees. Start to roll yourself up. Visualize a wall behind your back. Imagine you're rolling up that wall to help find that great posture. Roll your shoulders back, open your chest, look straight ahead, and you're done. Great job. In this routine, we stretched and elongated muscles, helping increase flexibility and aid in the overall health of our bodies. Stretching and flexibility can help prevent injuries, relieve soreness, aid in that good posture, and even help with sleep. Great job, thanks for working out with me today. I'm Andrea Spear, and I'll see you for your next workout.